Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Open Project on Amazon's web service or the Elastic Cloud. And we're going to use a prepackaged Bitnami um, AMI. So everything is set up for a quick start. And I guess we're going to have it up and running in less than five minutes. So let's get started. So first thing, head over to your AWS management console and check out the instances. Um, I have several instances. One is running and some I've terminated and we are going to launch a new instance with open project. All right, let's search for open project and I'm going to use a community AMI on EBS. Um, and well, let's just go with, I don't know, open project version eight. There are different versions. Uh, some are managed with additional costs, but I guess this one should be ready to go without any further costs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for the T2 micro instance type. It's gonna be slow, but for the demonstration purposes should be fine. Review and launch the machine. Um, this will create a new security group, especially for this machine. I am going to add this security group and add two additional rules for HTTP and encrypted HTTPS access because we're going to access this machine uh, through the web browser, um, the open project. All right, I think that should be it. So let's review and launch our machine. And now we can use an existing key pair to remote access our machine by SSH, for instance. Um, but I'm going to create a new one and I'm gonna call it open project key pair. Oops, key pair. All right, make sure to download that key pair right away. So you don't forget it. Uh, we're gonna store that in a specific folder and remote access our machine in a minute. Okay, let's launch the machine. And there we go. Um, this is gonna take some time. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, maybe pause the video, but first give it a name so you know what instance is running what in your uh, instance overview. Okay, did not open project, save. All right, um, and I guess in a minute you can already open your browser. I guess maybe it's not working right now. This will take sometimes one minutes, two minutes um, until it's running. In the meantime, let's access our machine via SSH and check out our credentials to log in into the open project backend. So I have downloaded the key pair and stored it in a folder and open a command line or terminal and head over to this very folder, uh, check out the contents and there is our key file or key pair file and we are going to change the uh, rights of this um, file to read only. So in order to uh, start a remote connection, because otherwise if it's not read only, uh, we will get an error message. Okay, we can check if everything worked and we see, all right, it's read only. All right. In order to remote access, you're going to use the SSH command using that key pair file and the username is going to be Bitnami and now we're going to head over to our key address right here. Ooh, hi, copy and paste and there you go. Sometimes you're going to have to add uh, the host to your known host or the public key key um, and we're online so voila let's check out 
a folder and we can see there is a file called bitnami credentials and we are going to look at this uh, sorry bitnami credential files and oh all right the machine is not ready yet so i'm gonna pause and wait until it's initialized all right folks we're back i think our machine is now ready and we can check out the credential files and as we can see the default username is user and this is the password set i'm gonna copy that password right away head over to the browser and as we can see our freshly installed open project server is running and i'm gonna try to log in user and password and check it out let's go oh voila there we go so that's it your open project uh, up and running on amazon elastic cloud in less than five to ten minutes